Hello folks, Napyet here. This is a quick fix for Fallout 4 and the FOV in that game if you would like to change it, up it, down it, whatever you'd like to do, this is how you do it. So the first thing we need to do is go into our user installation, which is generally Windows C users, your name, Rick, that's my real name, and your documents. So go into there, find my games, Fallout 4, and the files that we're interested in are fallout4.ini and fallout4prefs.ini. We're going to have to add some code to these two files in order to get the FOV working. So go down to display. We're going to add some code, which I've prepared here, because if you're anything like me, when you try and type things out multiple times, you add mistakes. So F default world FOV equals 50 and F default first person FOV equals 50. So that's what we're going to put in under display here. Of course, 50 is very low. So we're going to set this to what you would like it to be. I like mine to be at 90. So I'm going to set it there. Save that. We're going to do the same thing in Fallout 4 prefs. Again, under display at the top, add that. Should have changed it to 90 first in the um, notepad there, but never mind. Save again and close. Okay, we've got to do it one more time. So let's do that now. We need to find wherever we installed Fallout 4, which if you installed on Steam, this is generally where it will be. Uh, the the hard drive where you install. I mean, everybody knows this, but I'll just go through it just in case this is the first time messing with these files for someone. So the hard drive that you installed, if it's Steam, I installed mine on the D drive. Uh, it generally is in programs or program files times 86, whatever that means. Go to Steam. Down we go. And we go to Steam apps. And then in common... This is where your Steam games are and left uh, left for dead. I've just read it there. Fallout 4 should be there. Of course, it's not for me just to make things complicated. So ignore this bit where I when I go to where I installed Fallout 4. But again, I'm in Steam apps, common, and here's my Fallout 4. We go in here and there's another file called Fallout 4 and Fallout 4 prefs.ini. And again, just the same procedure as before. Add those two lines of code there. 90. 90. Okay, so you can change it to whatever you like. That is it. Those three files, once you've modified those, you're ready to go. Okay, I've been napped yet. I hope that fix works for you. It uh, seems to work fine for me. And like and sub if you like to my channel. I've just completed a State of Decay playthrough, which I really enjoyed appreciate some feedback on that. So think about it. I, I'd certainly appreciate it. All right. Take care. Bye.